From the gridiron goat to the mixed rookie pick, here are the most expensive pieces of sports memorabilia sold at auction. We're not going to waste too much time on stuff that has been sold below $1 million, but it's worth showing how wild these prices get by starting with the NFL. The top price of a game-worn NFL jersey at auction. Who do you think it belonged to? If you didn't guess Tom Brady, well, you haven't been paying attention for the last 20 or so years. The GOAT's game-worn 2021 jersey brought in a record-breaking $480,000 at auction. In January of 2022, the crazy part is that in October 2021, Brady set the very record he would ultimately break a few months later, selling a previous game-worn jersey at auction for $320,500, two jerseys, two more records for the GOAT. That's in NFL terms, though. Not in jersey terms, sticking with GOAT jerseys will go from the gridiron to the rink where the Great One's last game worn Edmonton Oilers jersey sold at auction for nearly double what Tom's record-breaking NFL jersey sold for combined. The jersey that Wayne Gretzky wore as he won his last Stanley Cup sold at auction in June of 2022 for $1.45 million. That's crazy to think about. Then again, Gretzky did kind of pop off in that series, driving in three goals and accounting for 15 points in a five-game series. And when you consider that, hockey is a bit more of a global sport than American football is, so it only makes sense that more potential buyers would drive the price up. Speaking of global games, nothing is more global than football or soccer. So if going from the NFL to the NHL drove up the price that much, what would going from the Stanley Cup to the World Cup do to answer your question? Just so much. In April of 2022, Diego Maradona's famous or infamous Hand of God goal from the 1986 World Cup sold at auction for $9.3 million. That's four Bugatti Veyrons with some change left. This is an absolutely iconic moment in the history of the World Cup. Things linked to these crystallizing moments in sports history typically go for a whole lot more. Speaking of iconic moments, we'll mention our last jersey with one of the most memorable. This is the most expensive jersey jersey sold at auction to date. It belongs to none other than Michael Jordan. The coronavirus pandemic brought us a lot of things. In the NBA world brought us the bubble and the documentary series The Last Dance. The Last Dance told the story of the 97 to 98 Chicago Bulls. These bulls were the ones to win his airness sixth chip in eight years. As the dynasty came to a storybook end, the jersey that he wore as he held the pose over Byron Russell sold at auction in September of 2022 for $10 million. With the combination of the name Jordan on the back, the fact he dropped 45 in the deciding sixth game and the last dance syndrome it just gives MJ another list to find himself at the top of. What do you think? Are these jerseys worth the price? What's the most you've spent on a collectible? Let's go from the clothes they're in during the game to the rules they play within. In 2016, the laws of baseball sold for an incredible $3.26 million. The document, handwritten in 1857, laid out such fundamental concepts as 90-foot base paths, nine players to a team, and nine innings in a game. Did writer Doc Adams think that pitchers would eventually be given pitch clocks? Probably not. But then again, nobody would have thought this document would sell for over $3 million in 2016, after its second most recent auction in 1999, where the winning bid was $12,650. Talk about inflation. Speaking of inflation, let's make the move back to hoops. Another historic document also sold for an absurd amount in 2010. In 1891, James Naismith was simply trying to find a way to keep athletes in shape during the winter, so he got a bit creative. He jotted down 13 rules for a YMCA in Massachusetts, and that was that. The game grew, and almost 120 years later, the original rules sold at auction for a staggering $4.3 million. That just goes to show you that something doesn't necessarily have to see the field, court, or rink to be absurdly valuable. What do you think these rules could bring in over 20 years later? It's clear that this market is exploding. The high-priced items aren't just held to jerseys or very old collectibles. In April of 2021, a LeBron James autographed rookie card brought in a crazy $5.2 million granted. It is LeBron, and rookie cards are typically the most valuable. But my guy, LBJ, is still getting buckets. Usually, these big price tags that are associated with rookie cards are a far older 
other retired or deceased players. The king is fighting father time to see who will blink first. What do you think? What will LBJ's rookie card be worth after his Hall of Fame acceptance speech? Another active player whose rookie card got someone PAID, Patrick Mayholmes. His one of one autographed rookie card sold in July of 2021 for $4.3 million. LeBron's rookie card makes sense. He's an old head at this point. Well, in NBA terms at least, his 20 year career has seen him win four chips and had him in nine straight finals. There's literally a generation that barely knows the finals without him, but Patrick Mahomes just entered his prime. Dude's going to start his seventh NFL season and has two chips and two league MVPs in that time. So it kind of makes sense that his rookie card would be worth so much, but it's also kind of ridiculous. But I guess that fits. Cuss dude's kind of a freak show in terms of talent. What do you think? What will Mahomes' rookie card be worth when he retires? Retirement. That's ultimately the thing that starts the value spike. That's the first death an athlete has to endure. The second one is that threshold that really takes the value to the next level. As long as the card is graded well, it can be worth a whole lot of money. In 1909 to 1911, the American Tobacco Company started printing baseball cards inside their products. The holy grail of these, the T206 Honus Wagner card. There are only about 60 of these cards that exist. It's so rare. That one that was literally torn in half sold for nearly $500,000 in February of 2022. Well, if one that was torn in half sold for a little more than a Brady jersey, the last whole one sold for $7.25 million on August 4th, 2022. Part of its value is its rarity, part is its age, but in part is because of the stories and scandals that surround it. Theories of why the card is so rare range from the Wagner plate breaking in the printer all the way to Honus himself demanding the card stop being printed to stop kids from buying tobacco. Whatever the case is, it held the record for a card for only 24 days. The record not just for a card, but for any sports memorabilia belongs to a Yankee. Love them or hate them, they are one of the most successful professional sports franchises in the world. They've had their share of legends too. The list goes on and on and some of their auctions would surprise you. So we should hit on a Yankee honorable mention. In 2019, a Babe Ruth game-worn jersey from 1928 to 1930 sold for $5.6 million in terms of Yankees legends and baseball legends in general, you really can't do much better than the Sultan of Swat. The crazy thing is, nothing of his holds that top spot. It's Mickey Mantle who takes that coveted top spot. The mixed rookie card sold at auction on August 28, 2022 for 12 dollars $6 million. Wow. The even more insane thing is that the same card's second most recent auction, in 1991, was bought for $50,000. People probably think it's wild that it sold for over $12 million. But then again, people probably made fun of the guy who spent $50,000 at the time, too. Who's laughing now? It's obvious that the Mix rookie card won't hold the top spot forever. Who do you think will take it next? There's some legendary players that aren't on this list. Maybe one of the legends that aren't on this list will come up and snipe the top spot. Or maybe one of these incredibly valuable items will change hands again. Either way, make sure to keep an eye out. So from the mixed rookie pick to the gridiron goat, those were the most expensive pieces of sports memorabilia to sell at auction.